Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Rosalind Streeter. Welcome to the journey of vision where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. All right, you guys, come on, let's chat. Okay, you guys, I'm back again. Here we go. I am jumping right in. God said, go the extra mile this season. Fear me, not them. Fear me, not them. Come on, Lord. All right, so I just gave you part one and we're jumping right into part two. If you are watching part two, please go and watch part one so you gain the correct and complete understanding with what God is sharing with God us. I said, y'all have to listen to this. Listen to God's heart with this because he's actually, you could tell he's spelling a certain way. He said, many of my people complain that nothing is going well for them. But for many of my people, it's going very well for them. Mm. And you know, in part one, he was talking about time wasters and time suckers and what that looks like. So I encourage you again to watch it. Many of my people complain that nothing is going well for them. But for many of my people, it's going very well for them. They can see what's coming, what's here. They are diligently seeking my face, understanding my plans for them. Mm, yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your guidance. He said, they are too collecting and building from the great plans I've given to them. The directions he's given to them. He said, they're starting to collect. They're starting to build. They're building off of it. Mm. He said, obeying me is key. Time management is key. Yes, you are my child, but you spend more of your time on these worldly things than you do with your father. Come on, who is he speaking to, you guys? And then he said the hidden key. The one who holds the key to your finances, your well-being, and your life itself. For this season and the next. My goodness. Wow. Wow. Wow, you guys. He said that he is the hidden key, you guys. He's the hidden key that many of his children are missing out on. He said, because I gave you directions and you have to ask yourself. That's why I want to know who he's speaking to, right? Who is he speaking to where he's giving you directions, right? You're complaining about everything that he's not giving you. But he said, you haven't even moved on those directions. You spend more time doing worldly things, right? And he said, and he's doing it. He's saying this out of love, too, by the way. He said, you spend more time doing worldly things than you do your father who actually holds the hidden key to your finances, your well-being. And he said, even to your life, your life itself. How powerful is that, y'all? Listen, go back and listen to that message because there is great understanding and wisdom there that God is trying to help you understand Without him, you will not get far. Without him, yes, there's going to be a lot of great suffering. He said he's the hidden key. That's why he keeps guiding us and leading our footsteps, you guys. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for holding my hand. My God. Oof. Okay, you guys, so that was part two. Just know part three is coming right up. And of course, we love you. Bye.